Turn three, Space Wolves. Canis is coming out of the woods. And again, being able to ignore difficult terrain is actually an amazing thing. You have so much more mobility, not to mention your already 12 inch movement. Landerator runs through the very nasty bushes, but you can't attack each other. And it did make its um, difficult terrain check. And I get heavy flamered, but luckily he rolled a bunch of twos and it was three plus to wound. And he does not get a mobilize in there. So shooting at, with Skyfire hits another penetrating hit on one of my flyers and it's a plus one because AB2, it's a weapon destroyed. So he kills one of its uh, super shooters, but it still has two left. Normally it's randomly determined, but there's only three of the same weapon. So it's quite easy. Next, the Land Raider shooting into my boys, as usual. Just trying to do as much as I can again with the twin length, even with snap fire, able to reroll. Um, you can do a bunch, and that's all cover saves. And I get exactly four wounds, and that's one, two, three, four. They are gone. And power of the machine spirit shooting at my other boys. Three hits, two wounds, no saves. That is all. Next, the. I think the, oh no, just uh, charging in. He's able to charge in. Now it's smart because he's charging with his Dreadnought first, so I could snap fire at him, but pistols can't hurt his front armor. And then he charges in with Candace and his wolf, and you cannot snap fire, or Overwatch rather, if you are in combat. So, and he, he actually didn't know that, but it was just coincidentally awesomeness. But uh, some good tactica there. So they only kill three boys, but then the wolf comes in and attacks as well. Or, no, the Dreadnought goes at the same time as the Wolf. So both of them attacking. They're going to wipe out a few more boys. I just want enough maybe for my Power Claw to survive to maybe kill Canis or the, the Dreadnought. But he ends up killing only one more boy. So when I start to go back... Or, no, the Dreadnought attacking kills another boy. Here we go. Long day. Okay, so I get to move in. My Power Claw is not able to get in the base-to-base -base with the other unit. So my other two boys are useless and my... My power claw, he actually decides, because he can choose, but he, he chooses to kill the Dreadnought, because he's the harder one to kill, to shoot at at least. I can not I can shoot down Kenneth, I can't shoot down the Dreadnought. And I do get a penetrating hit, and it's a four, which normally wouldn't do much, but he only had one hull point left, which means three hull points gone. You are a wrecked vehicle. And I thought that was pretty nifty. I do fail leadership though, even after, after killing a, or no, I didn't kill a boy. He stayed alive, but I needed a four because he killed so much and he overruns me and I'm dead. So that's another squad of boys gone. <clears throat> Good thing it's not a victory point. And remember, this is the scenario where it's big guns that retire. So all heavy support dead are victory points. So I, he's killed one of my heavy support. I haven't, and I've killed his long fangs. So we've each killed one heavy support each. But then also heavy support can capture objectives, uh, as long as well with troops. So my flyers turn four orcs, they're maneuvering around, flying over each other, just trying to move their minimum 18, try to do something effective this turn. My shooter boys move up, try to lay down her- oh, I actually haven't killed the longfang unit yet. Hmm, hit, hit, nudge, nudge. <laughs> the- again, I'm just running around, trying to get different objectives, and just kind of shuffling from one objective to the other. I just gotta hold these two objectives. If I can hold it, I should be good, because I am in his deployment zone, and he's not in mine. And so, with at least with the scoring unit, I don't think any can afford to go into my area either. So, depending on the victory points so secondary objectives, we'll have to see. But my plane, Daka's down, that long fang, like nothing, and then all my shooter boys shooting in the Canis. Hopefully being able to kill him, but with his high toughness, only five is a wound, and he makes his save, or he, he pawns it off onto a little wolf. And so the wolf is done, and I cannot do anything else with my big, and my big shoot has failed miserably too. So run move, getting out the way. Again, I, well, if I get in the ruins, I get a four plus cover save. So that's actually super good for orcs, although it didn't make a huge difference for the space wolves. And continue to shoot just the uh, like pistols or whatever I can, but not able to shoot anything. Now, you have a 45 degree front arc on the plane, so we've measured four inches up and then it's four inches out because that would be 45 degrees. And so I did get the front guy in the squad was in range, so I was able to shoot at them and then as normal. But be warned if you're too close with flyers, 
they won't do, or they can't see them, so you can't shoot. And so either model your guns on the bottom of your wings, or if it's modeled on the top like a Storm Raven, well, you're just out of luck. Canis, moving up. Turn four, Space Wolves. Let's see if they can. They only have a few units left. The one guarding the objective in the middle of the map. Land Raider with a bunch of Blood Claws in it. And Canis. So he starts by shooting and backing away at, but with a four plus in the ruins. I only lose two boys. And then Machine Spiriting into the boys in the back with a Weird Boy. Manages to hurt a few more, but I get a five plus cover because part of them are in cover. None, not the whole squad isn't completely out. And so only one dies. And then the blog claw shoot up my, my plane and he got three sixes and he was so excited, but he followed up by three ones. And then that will not kill a plane. You need double, you need sixes and then sixes again. At least in this scenario. So Canis charges in, he's going all forward. He wants to get these boys off the objective and he kills four, which is pretty good. But then when I pile in, I get three inches, and I'm moving in. I don't know if my knob is going to be able to be engaged. I did my move my knob out of uh, order. I should have waited, but it wouldn't have made a difference in this case. Anyways, my boys attack, cause a couple. I managed two wounds. He fails both his saves. Only one wound left, and a knob turned out to be just barely within two inches of the front boy. Two wounds, no saves. Canis is gone, and consolidate three inches back into the ruins. Oh, that's about it for the Space Wolves. Orcs have one more turn. Oh, and the objective finally blows up. And right when he goes in to grab it. <laughs> but no no damage done. Night fighting is in effect. And so anything more than 12 inches away will get added to their um, cover saves. Which is okay because they were out in the open. And they would have to have a 3 plus cover save before... It would change anything for the orcs. But if you're more than 36 inches away, then you cannot see at all. And my both both my flyers fly off because they're not able to do anything. Maybe on turn six, they're able to run in and maybe blow some guys off the objectives or or at least something. So weird boy. <laughs> Go. As you see, I was very excited, very <laughs> little, maybe a little too excited, but getting those extra shots is crucial, especially because I like to hit him off the objective. And so after re-rolling all these wounds, tons of wounds, he has to make all those saves, and he makes all of them except one. Only one guy dies. They do have stakes holding, still take leadership, but they make it, of course, and that's it for turn five orcs. Space Wolves. Herney moves up with Landator trying to contest that one objective and then the Blood Claws jump out six inches from the side hatch trying to move up close to try to attack and kill the, the boys and get them off that objective. And the other Space Wolves just move up, just maybe a little harder to hit from different angles and they take a few pot shots, two sixes, any sixes will glance, but not today. Then Land Raider unloads as per usual into my boys. With their 4 plus cover, they are able to save a few of them though. And so that is good. And then shooting a few more at my squad in the back. Might as well just try to cause as much morale as possible. Although he probably should have shot at my boys. Although I think he couldn't actually because of how he angled his land raider. So now he is shooting from his blood claws, just his pistols, into my boy squad. And manages to kill a few. But now he's a bit further, he has to charge through terrain. You take away the highest, he only gets to charge two inches, and he is out. Just barely, he only needed four inches. And because of the failed charge, I he, well, he can test the objective, he will not control it though. Although we forgot, I actually had to roll morale. And so I failed, boss pole, killed one more boy. Still would've been four inches away, nothing changed there, and then I did make morale. Turn six does not happen. End of the game. Orc victory, seven points to five. Well, the Space Wolves did better this time. Yeah, they, they was a close game. <laughs>